Welcome back. We continue our coverage in the days leading up to Super Bowl 57. And while we are less than 72 hours away from kickoff of the final game of the season, we take things back to training camp roughly seven months ago. It doesn't seem like that long ago, and yet it, again it does. But after the departure of star players like Tyreek Hill and Tyran Matthew in the offseason, the Chiefs brought in a flurry of players who maybe weren't used to traveling for their training camp. Jacob Michael reports from Glendale, Arizona to tell us more about what some newcomers thought of the trip to St. Joseph last summer and what a couple veterans think is important about it. Jacob, how are you? Uh, doing great out here in sunny Glendale, Arizona. Thanks, Calvin. Training camp in St. Joseph has been part of the Chiefs formula for the better part of the last decade. And since they're about to embark on their third Super Bowl in the last four years, with so many new faces, Calvin, I figured I'd ask some of the players what that time was like this past summer, spending it at Missouri Western, how important that was for building team chemistry and team camaraderie. And a few of the faces you're going to see have been through that St. Joseph grind for a few years now, and a few of the guys getting their first taste of it this last summer. Training camp away from home. It's something many Chiefs players are used to at this point. Sit at the cafeteria or you you're, go ride in the same car from going to eat at Chick-fil-A or whatever that is. Um, you build those relationships with those guys. I think one of the biggest things uh, when we go up to St. Joe is it gets us away from quote unquote reality because we're not going home to the, the families and friends. It focuses all, us all in on, on one goal and one task and, um, and focuses our attention on being around our teammates. But this particular camp at Missouri Western last summer saw a lot of new faces. Many were rookies making an impact for the team this year, but there were also veterans acquired by Kansas City expected to make an impact on their respective sides of the ball. Being put in college dorms for those few weeks brought each other together, according to off-season additions like Marquez Valdez-Scantling and Justin Reed. I mean, it's definitely not one of the things I'm accustomed to. Uh, we're about an hour away from you know, Kansas City. And, you know, having to go out there and lock in for, you know, a, a month, um, it was tough. But it was good because you're around nothing but your, your guys. So you learn, you learn them very quickly um, and you get to build that chemistry up with them. I think it's huge for the camaraderie and chemistry for the team. You know, I uh, got close to guys a lot quicker than I've gotten close to guys uh, when I was back in Houston just because of that. Um, and I also think it helps us um, being there for so long, coming here for a week, it doesn't feel so foreign to do that. For Juju Smith-Schuster, another pickup for the Chiefs this past offseason, it was fairly easy to get used to being away. It's actually crazy. You know, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be just because St. Joe is very similar to St. Vincent, how Pittsburgh did it. So it was kind of like an hour away. You know, you stay at, you stay at the dorms. So that opportunity was, it was very, very same. Honestly, it wasn't hard for me at all. You know, I, I was cool with all the guys on the team before coming into camp. And then getting into camp, it was just like, oh, I'm here with the boys. We're working. And to sort of expand upon uh, some of that conversation that we had with Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes, Calvin, Kelsey said he's a firm believer in the team getting away for training camp. And Patrick Mahomes said he likes that head coach Andy Reid uh, has the team get away from Kansas City uh, for that period of time. Although he does say, though, he wished it was only for like two weeks and maybe not three and a half weeks because he says that that's a little too long for him to be away from his own bed. And for someone who's been away from their own bed and myself for about four days now, I kind of get what he's saying. Calvin.